Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I am Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. I just got back from New York. I had a meet and greet with Kiehl's and it was so awesome meeting all of you guys. And that being said, whenever I go away, I always come back to a ton of packages. So rather than bombarding my Snapchat, I figured I would sit down and film another unboxing for you guys. Since you liked my other ones so much, we can spill some tea again as well. Talk a little ish. I know you guys love when I talk shit, so I give my people what they want. Again, the tea with PR boxes, companies send us products once you reach a certain amount of followers in hopes that you will post about their product and give a good review. Now, sometimes companies will send out a product and influencers won't like it and they'll be taken off PR lists. That's happened to me with Too Faced, Kat Von D, I think even Anastasia, like I don't get products from her anymore, but I never said anything bad about them, which is like kind of weird to me. I also want to address my lip fillers to you guys as well in this video, but I'm gonna stop rambling right now and let's get on to some unboxing. I believe I know what this is. Ooh, this is the Alyssa Ashley Lip Gloss with e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is launching October 24th. Let's open her up. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. It has e.l.f. and Alyssa Ashley's signature on it. Ooh, this looks like a very pretty color. I'll do a little swatch on the back of my hand for you guys. It definitely is pigmented, so I think you can wear this over a liquid lipstick. You can wear it by itself. This is what the swatch looks like. I'm telling you guys, lip glosses are gonna be a poppin' thing. I I'm already calling it now. I'm actually really excited for Alyssa Ashley. She's like really dope. I've met her a couple times in person and I love following her on Twitter. She's really, really awesome and I love her videos and her content, especially on YouTube. So if you don't know who she is, make sure you go and check her out and tell her I sent you. Next box is from Smashbox. Ooh, anything that's like super sparkly like this just automatically catches my attention. <sighs> That. Okay, Smashbox, I see you. And this is like the best type of glitter because it doesn't go all over your apartment. Just saying. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Create your own primer cocktail. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. We have a photo finish foundation primer. We have the photo finish pore minimizing. We have the new photo finish mattify primer stick, which is actually a really cool idea for a primer. And we have some primer oil and some primer primer spray, the primer water. Now primer water is like my most favorite product ever from Smashbox. This is like totally, totally awesome. And I also love their photo finish primer as well. Okay guys, so this is what the primer stick looks like. It has a little roll up applicator. It feels very nice on the back of my hand. It definitely is mattifying. It feels super, super smooth. This is perfect for you guys. I know I get a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about oily skin and I'm definitely not an expert in oily skin. I have very very dry skin so I know what complements my skin the best but I do know that Smashbox has some of the best primers out there so if you have oily skin definitely take a look at this new primer I'm excited to try it I mean I kind of want to try it even though I have dry skin because I feel like maybe I can use it a little bit on my forehead sometimes I get a little shiny there so this is awesome and they also included a cocktail bar set this is the cutest thing ever oh my god Smashbox thank you so much how cute is this this, guys. I like that it's all gold. I'm a sucker for gold. Oh, this is better than Christmas. Also, I did get a lot of comments on my last video from people saying like, you know, what do you do with products that like you get sent that you may not like or like products that don't work for you. I donate a lot of foundation to like some women's shelters and I also use a lot of products. Like if I get sent an excess amount of foundation, I'll use some of those for giveaways for you guys or like I'll give it to family. So don't worry, no makeup is going to like spoil in my beauty room. I'm not wasting it, I promise. Okay, so it looks like we have the new Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Palette. Our first ever vegan highlighting palette is sure to stun, give you a hashtag wild glow that outshines the sun with four new ultra pearly and pigmented shades. Okay. I do really feel like Wet n Wild hits it out of the park with their highlighters. They do such an amazing job. The only highlighter that I didn't really care for from them was part of their mermaid collection just their mermaid collection in a whole I kind of was just like a little confused about but this oh shit Okay guys, so this is what the cover looks like. This is what the inside looks like We have sweet 
Okay, I'm not I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce these words because I'm not gonna get them right. But let's put some on my finger to swatch. Ooh, okay, wet and wild shit. I'm telling you guys, wet and wild does not play around with their highlighters. If you are in the looks for a good drugstore highlighter or drugstore kit like this, these are very, very pigmented. I know it's kind of hard to tell in this kind of lighting, but again, I can do a first impressions makeup tutorial. Or if there's a product that I review that you guys are like, oh my god, you need to do a dedicated video just leave me a comment down below but yeah this is really really cool I'm gonna definitely play around with it a little bit more but right off the bat I do like the way that it swatches and I like the idea of a highlighting palette good job went wild next unboxing we got is from it cosmetics okay so this says take the it challenge make it happen. So if you use the hashtag ItCCChallenge, one post equals one dollar donated by It Cosmetics to look good, feel better. And I think this might be a helping women with cancer, yes. So they sent me a bunch of their CC cream. Again, guys, I haven't really played around too much with It Cosmetics. I definitely need to sit down and kind of force myself to try some new products out here. Let's open some of them up. I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway of some some products because I definitely don't need all of these shade ranges. Okay, so these are all of the shade ranges that I got sent to me here. This is like the darkest shade, which is called Deep. I'm not 100% sure if this is the entire CC cream collection. Right off the bat, there definitely is not a lot of selection for deeper slash darker skin tones. And I do believe the It Cosmetics founder herself made a very empowering speech about brands not taking the social norm and doing whatever, but I mean, the shades don't really match up to what she's saying. I mean, I'm not trying to get in too deep here, but definitely, you know, the shade range needs to be larger. That being said, I feel like I'm probably a mixture of medium and light, so I will probably mix these two together and try them out. I really don't think I've actually tried any CC cream in general, so this will be a good thing to try. And it also has SPF 50 in it, which is great for your skin and to protect you from the sun. This is a nice package right here. This is from Jergens. I really like their self tanner. Oh, how cute! So they sent me this little like tea set, but this is their new product, Jergens Nourishing Honey. Softens for beautifully smooth skin with honey and orange blossom essence. That's pretty awesome. I love me some Jergens. Let's see how it smells. Ooh, it smells amazing. Wow, that smells so good. Thank you, Jergies. I also have a little teacup here. That is just, just so cute. You know what? I'm a huge fan of cups. Like, I have this weird obsession with cups. So any company that sends me cups, I get really excited. Ugh, riveting, I know. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you should. I just recently was talking on my Snapchat and Instagram about what I have been going through with my lips and oh my god. Okay, so for the longest time, I always knew that there was something off with my lips and the fact that I would get so many comments, especially on YouTube, of people saying it looks like I have a mustache, like blah blah blah. And I'm just like, okay, if so many people are saying something, there must be something wrong with them. So I got a comment from like people who were claiming to be nurses and like in the field and they said it looks like the Juvederm filler, which is what they inject in your mouth or your lips for when you want to get juicier, fuller lips. They were saying that it looked like it moved up to above my lip. So I went to Sev Laser to try to get this whole thing straightened out and they said sure enough there is filler above my lip. So they went and they put some dissolver in which like literally was pretty painful and the one they gave me they said was actually the more mild dissolver it literally feels like there is something burning like acid burning inside of your lips and I had to get it injected a Above my lip here and I did it without any numbing cream so I was like borderline tearing up but not because I was in pain just because it was so uncomfortable like it just felt so weird so yeah we're trying to get that figured out but already I feel like my lips look so much better I'm looking in the monitor and I just see such a huge difference and I'm low-key grateful for the hate comments but then again you know don't leave them <laughs> Just learn from my mistakes and be very, very careful with your filler and go to someone who doesn't use the same method on every person. Go to someone who knows about the anatomy of the body, uses different methods on every person because nobody looks the same, nobody's lips are the same, so you can't just get injection happy and push it all the way up 
into my mustache. <laughs> Next package we have here is from MAC. I think this might be their holiday collection. Ooh, I'm excited. I think it's also really awesome that MAC has been doing PR. I mean, they've been doing it probably for like about a year now. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is their holiday collection. I also have the price of everything here, so let's go through that. This is a hefty book. I personally like when companies send decks like this because then it makes it easier for me to go through and like spread the knowledge with you guys, you know? Okay, so this is like a little kit we have in here and inside we have two little eyeshadows, we have a liner and a mascara. And inside the shadow, is imprinted snowflakes, which is really, really cute. Oh, these feel really nice. They're kind of like iridescent. I know it's so hard to see, but they feel really, really soft. So this whole set here, including the little bag that it comes with, is $39. So this one is called the Snowball Lip Bag, red edition. This is also $39. You get the bag and there is a lip glass in it, which is a lip gloss. You get a lip liner and a lipstick, which is hooray for the holidays. It's a matte red lipstick that's super pretty. MAC has some of the best lip liners and lipsticks I've ever, ever, ever used. So this seems like a pretty good deal. This is the Snowball Mini Lip Glass Kit, which you have three lip glasses, glosses, for $30 and you have like a vampire, vampire, and you have a plum color. We have like a sparkly or like metallic nude and a mauve shade, which is really pretty. These are also really cute like little stocking stuffers or gifts if you want to get for people in the holidays. For eyeshadow, this is the Snowball Eye Compact in the shade or the style gold. They have two styles. They have a rose gold and a gold one. This is really cute. It comes with a brush and this is $29. These swatch actually really nice too. I know it's like super hard to see back here And if there are any products that really stick out in your head Just let me know like leave me a comment and I will definitely review them I think one of my most asked questions is like have I ever reached out to makeup companies or do makeup companies reach out to me? Like how do I go about getting PR and when I reached a certain amount of followers That's when I started getting companies that reach out to me, but sometimes like I I actually reached out to companies too. Like I think back in the day, I may have reached out to NYX or like Morphe just when I was starting out and they were all really, really supportive. I don't personally think there's anything wrong with asking to be on PR lists if you have a decent amount of following, but also don't get discouraged or crushed if you don't hear back from companies. I mean, sometimes it takes companies days to even respond to me and I would think that I'm like pretty well established, kind of, sort of, you know? <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute and so aesthetic. Ah, so aesthetically pleasing. These are like the little mini lipsticks. They have a chrome to them. I don't know if you guys can see with the lighting, but yeah, wow, this is really cool. This is the Snowball Mini Lipstick Set, and you get 12 mini lipsticks for $70. And this is what the lipsticks look like. They're so cute. And you know what? You can even buy this for like a holiday gift, and you have like 12 little mini stocking stuff right there like give each person their own lipstick or something this is really really cute I actually don't even want to take this out of the packaging because it's so pretty I love this like even this box is so pretty Mac does a really really good job with their holiday collections I have to give them that so this right here is the Mac packaging for the holidays. It's really, really pretty. This is a face powder called Here Comes Joy. I feel like this is a highlighter, but this definitely is going to be too dark for my skin tone. I mean, I already swatched it, so I don't want, I don't feel comfortable giving it away, but it is really pretty. It kind of has an iridescent sheen to it, and I love the packaging. So this is $34, and I also have some other individuals to show you guys. I have two lipsticks here. These are $17 each. Each, and they also have the MAC packaging. So this one right here is like a berry tone. It's called El Bell. Cute. Let's do a little swatch. So that's like a creamy berry. Oh, it's so hard to see. Rouge and Snow, this one is called, and it's a red. Reds are definitely huge around the holidays, that's for sure. These are both like a creamy texture and are not a matte finish, more of like a sheen finish, I would say. 
They also sent this festive bling, which is like a snowflake here that you can like stick on your face or stick wherever. It's $16. This is cute. This is a cute idea. And the last two things from MAC I'm gonna show you here are eyeshadows. We have one that is Starry Starry Nights, and we have another one that is Stylish Merry. These each are embossed with the snowflakes in them. Stylish Mary is very, very pretty. Oh my God. It changes with the light. I would say it's iridescent, like pink to green. I like that a lot. Here are some swatches. They're really, really pretty. These are definitely unique colors. And they are $20 each, and I understand, like, you might be like, whoa, that's a lot of money for a single eyeshadow. And I totally get it, but it's the fact that it has the snowflake imprinted in it, it's holiday collection, yada yada. But this definitely is cool. I really do want to do a look with Stylish Mary. I feel like that's super, super pretty. Next! These things are the devil. Oh my God, I have no idea who sent me this or what, but this says 04, has a picture of a fox and says sake. O for fox sake. Yes, I have no idea who sent me this. This is from, where's the card? A company called Fox and Clover. Thank you guys for this amazing mug. I told y'all I love cups, so I don't know who sent me this, but thank you. <laughs> okay. Next package is from Fiatte London, and it says, Happy Holidays. Oh, it's heavy. So it looks like we have a bunch of holiday sets here from Ciate London. So let's go through each one. I will break down the products for you. So this one right here is called the 12 Days of Ciate London. Let's go through it and like see what it is. This is like an advent calendar for makeup. I love this. So on the uh, sixth day of Christmas, we got a Fierce Flicks liner, number one. And it has like a little saying on it. It says, put on some lipsticks and live a little. This is a liquid velvet lipstick in Oh Honey. Number two, we have a single highlighter, which is called Glow 2. I like that, that's cute. I love like mini size makeup products. Is that the weirdest thing ever? I'm like, oh my God, you're such a little baby. I know, I'm nuts. I think someone commented lately and was like, on one of my videos and was like, oh my God, you're so excited, it's just makeup. And I'm like, bish, makeup is my life. I don't even know what you're saying right now. I can't even relate. We have another liquid velvet. This one is in the style pinup. This is like a mauve tone. This is a eyeshadow. This is a single eyeshadow. It's from the Pretty Fun and Fearless collection. This is a really cool idea, Ciate. I'm, I can get down with this. Number five, we have an Eyeliner. This is the Wonder Wand. Also, this is making me think, would you guys ever want me to do like a holiday gift guide? Like of like makeup that I think would be cute to like ask for or to give on the holidays? Leave me a comment. We have another liquid velvet, which is a travel size or like small size liquid velvet. And this is the shade Delight. This is like a nude shade. We have another eyeshadow from the Pretty Fun and Fearless collection. This is a matte shadow. So you get a bunch of things for your money's worth. I wish I knew how much this was to tell you guys. No. It doesn't say on the back. It doesn't say on the card either. So look it up, I guess. <laughs> what is this? Oh, a little bronzer, how cute. This is a bamboo bronzer. I like that. Oh, it smells good. <gasps> we have a mini makeup melter. I can't, I can't take it. Look at how cute this is. And I love makeup melters. This one especially was really, really good. I did a whole video on that. So make sure you check it out. This is really good for traveling. You know what I'm thinking too? You can even get this and give out little gifts and don't even like give it to one person. Just be like, here you go. Just give out all the 12 gifts that are in here. This is also from the Pretty Fun and Fearless eyeshadow palette. This is a like, plum purple shade. And then last but not least, we have the Wonder Wand Mascara, which is amazing. This is again, mini size products in this kit, but listen, I can get down with mini size products, I'm telling you. We also have a little like hanger thingy my bobby. You can hang this on a tree, I guess. Stocking stuffer, whatever. This is the Kiss Collection. It comes with two velvet liquids. Liquids. Liquid velvets. <laughs> They're both mauve tones, which is really pretty. You can even use these to do like an ombre look. So these are the two shades right here. We have Pinup and Fling. 
Ooh, this is called a snow globe. How cute is this? Let's open her up. This is a snow globe of all liquid lipsticks. Oh my God, this is such a cute idea. <laughs> okay, let's open up the snow globe. Okay, so we have four liquid velvets on here, and this is actually a little bit different packaging. This has the stars on the top here, and their normal liquid velvets do not have the stars on them. So just keep that in mind. We have the shade Wonderland, which is like a pink nude. We have the shade Swoon, which is a warm tone nude. We have the shade Bittersweet, which is a cool tone. I would say it's like a cool tone mauve. We have the shade Gossip here, which is a pink, and last but not at least we have the shade pinup that shades very popular this is like the third time I've seen pinup maybe that means there's gonna be a giveaway okay guys and the last holiday collection we have from Ciate is this right here which has all the way up to the 23 days so this is a advent calendar for someone to literally get a present from December 1st to the 23rd all the way up to Christmas Eve which is pretty pretty awesome oops sorry I mean it has 24 days but that's really really cute I love this idea of an advent calendar of makeup like I just can't get over this so let's go through this again we'll go through what each one gets and we'll start off in order this time on the first day of Christmas and each one has a little cute saying on the back of it this one says a girl should be two things who and what she wants okay we have a mini my God, I forgot the name of this. Nail polish, duh. It's because it's midnight. I'm filming this at midnight. <laughs> this is a mini nail polish in the shade. Doesn't have a shade name, but this is really cute. It's like a navy blue with some sparkles in it. Number two, never lose your sense of wonder. We have another little nail polish here. This is a purple color. This is number three. We have a long wear gel top coat or gel taco as Simply Nail Logical would say. Number four. Ooh, we have like an iridescent nail polish here. This is like a turquoise iridescent nail polish. Number five. Ooh, this is like a chunky glitter nail polish. Better watch out, Christine. I'm coming for your job. This is a mini nail polish again, and I would say it's like a silver with large chunks of glitter and small chunks of glitter. Number six. Ooh, this is so pretty. So as I'm, I'm thinking that this is probably all nail polish since one through six has been nail polish, but we'll see. This is like a multi-chrome, I would say, and it has like little glitters in it too. It's like a purple to blue. I'm so happy that I actually watched Christine's videos and I can kind of give you guys some information on this. Number seven, this is a hot pink nail polish. Number eight, another shifting nail polish. This is like a duochrome. I would say this is pink to maybe a light green. That's kind of cool. Number nine, we have a white or like a pale pink shade. Number 10, ooh, this is a pretty shade. I'm actually getting my nails done tomorrow. Maybe I'll do this color. Oh my God, this is so cool. I think this is hollow. Christine, I think this is hollow. Yes, that is hollow and it has big chunks of glitter in it. This is really cool. Ooh, I low key wanna put some on right now. That looks really cool. Can you guys see my thumb? My thumpkin. Now I gotta wait for this to dry. This is why I only do gel. Okay guys, number 12 here is just a actual glitter that you can put on your nails. It's like a red glitter. Number 13. <gasps> These are so pretty, these colors. I feel, you can't see them at all, but like this is a purple iridescent shade. Can you guys see it? No, it's it's cause my studio lighting, it kind of blocks out the color of this, but it's so pretty. Number 14 is a nail file. Number 15. <laughs> Ooh, this is like a metallic blue. Number 16, okay. We have a plum shade here. Number 17, we have a superhero nail treatment. I guess this is maybe to make your nails grow. Number 18, we have a nude shade here. This is really, really pretty. Again, guys, I'm sorry. My lighting is not like perfect for nail polish. It's perfect for makeup, but not nail polish. So I know it's kind of hard to see some of the shades. I apologize. Number, ah, drop it, I got Butterfingers. Number 19. Oh my god, this is like a unicorn. I really want this to show up. Okay, it's not showing up, but it's really, really cool. It's like a unicorn. I'm obsessed with this right now. I'm gonna bring these to my nail girl, Lena, tomorrow and be like, girl, 
Look at what I have. Number 20, I have a silver holographic polish. Number 21, I have some chunky glitter. This is like a chunky pink glitter. Number 22, I have like a teal shade over here, like a dark teal. So this obviously is all nail polish. So this is definitely something if you wanna give to like nail polish lovers. Number 23 is a red. And finally, 24, oof, whoa. This is a big mama over here. This is a paint pot and it has like gold glitter in it, pink glitter in it, little like small red glitter in it, magenta. This is really cool, it's called Showtime. I'm kind of like low-key obsessed with this nail polish. Okay, so that is it for the Ciate holiday collection. My neighbors below me hate me. Oof, all these nail polish fumes. This one is from Violet Voss. Ooh, their new eyeshadow palette called Taupe Notch. Oh my God, and they sent little Giardellis. Oh my God, I'm gonna use this as a makeup brush holder. I love this. And it's gonna be available on Sephora. So this right here is the palette. It has hollow packaging and this is taupe notch. This is really cool. These are like some cool tone shades. I really like this. Let me know if you guys wanna see a review on this or like a tutorial with this. This is really, really cute. I'm definitely intrigued because these are not shades that I normally would use. So yeah. Ooh, Urban Decay. This is from Urban Decay and it says Happy Halloween on it. Oh, this is so cute. They sent me a bunch of products that they thought would be really cute for Halloween videos or Halloween tutorials. They sent me the all nighter setting spray. They sent me some eyeliners, some glitter liners in here. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much, Urban. This is awesome. Ooh, what's this? It says Vice Special Effects. Oh, cool. This is their like little, oh, whoa. What is this? Is this a lipstick? I don't know what it is, but it's really cool. That's what it looks like on my hand. Oh, it looks like I have another package here from Urban. They sent me, oh my God. This is an adult coloring book with swear words. This is amazing. <laughs> it's a shit house. Fat ass. Calm your balls. This is amazing. And they also sent the Urban Liners. Whoa, look at this, guys. This is really awesome. These are all of their 24-7 Glide On eyeliners. And again, this is so aesthetically pleasing. These eyeliners are really, really awesome. They're really pigmented. Some of them are metallic. Some of them have like matte shades. They're shimmer shades. Like this one has some glitter built into it. This is pretty awesome. Thank you, Urban. Oh, I'm definitely not gonna color with these because these are just way too pretty and I don't wanna mess them up, but thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys, we're getting down to the wire here. I got a package from Farasali, the new Farasali Jelly Beam, an innovative highlighter that applies like jelly, but sets like a powder, leaving behind an elusive wet satin glow. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. It jiggles like jelly. That's an amazing thing. Can you guys see that? <laughs> oh my God, that's super interesting. Oh my God, it's like goopy too. Oh my God, okay, let's put some on the back of my hand. Wow, okay, glow. I really want to see what this looks like when it dries. It literally is so popping that it's like a mirror. Reflecting the highlight. Jelly Beam. I like that name, that's a cute name. I put a lot on here, I shouldn't have put on this much. Ooh, but it is drying. <gasps> that's really cool. So it is drying. Wow, that's freaking awesome. Farsali coming up with some innovative shit. I love this. I really wanna do a review on this, like in general, just wanna do a review on it. So let me know if that's something you guys wanna see. All right guys, our last box. Ooh, this is a heavy one. It's from Elsie Cosmetics. Ooh, it's their new velvet sponge. They look like little poops. I'm very, very curious because they are super pointy. So I wonder it's like, is it supposed to be easier to work in there? Will it make it harder? So things about the Velvet Sponge, it's an innovative makeup sponge that helps makeup blend effortlessly into the skin. Its unique pointed tips allows you to reach the small, hard to get areas while the dome end can be used in large areas, including the face and body. The texture was perfected to create the ultimate airbrush finish, leaving the skin looking velvet and beautiful. 
Okay, I'm down for that. I definitely need to try these out. They feel super soft, they feel promising. We'll see if it will replace my beauty blender. That is that is the big question. And I think she also sent a candle in here, which I dug my nail into a thousand times. Can't get the candle out. All right, now I gotta organize all this makeup. Again, guys, I'm super grateful for all your love and support. I would never get this amount of makeup if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you for following me, supporting me, and interacting with me. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Leave me a comment down below what you think I should film next. If you want a first impressions makeup tutorial, if you want some dedicated reviews, let me know. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you like what you see and I will see you guys next time. Bye.